Now I have a new guest over here and he's from Colorado. It would be amazing to see him and I'm waiting to him. Let's see what we'll be doing today. It's just like a chit chat sex session only for a short moment. Everybody can join us if they want. So hello everyone. So if you want to join us just send a message and we can talk. Let's do that. And I'm just inviting my here you just accept my request and you will be on a live session right right now beside me oh uh, yeah here we go hello hello welcome okay let me introduce to yourself he is my friend his name is brain and we have Where been him yeah <laughs> too much and this is our first live session even though we don't have enough time so everybody can watch us if you want to join us you can send a request we would like to talk to you and other people that could be awesome thank you brain if you if you if you don't mind can you introduce a little bit about yourself so that everybody can understand you yeah sure so i'm brian with an i sound <laughs> and uh, i'm from Fort Collins, Colorado. And uh, yeah, I have lived uh, here in this community for 14 years and uh, have, uh, yeah, enjoyed, enjoyed being here. Uh, before that, I lived in Canada for a little while. Before that, I lived in Kansas. Uh, and then I grew up in, in Southern California uh, for, uh, for the kind of the first half of my life. Yeah. Wow, amazing. So you love many places. It's quite nice to hear that. Okay, I'm just using some filter, so don't mind that. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, can you see that my face is just like I did some makeup. Oh, can you see my lipstick? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm just playing with that. Okay, the internet is off. Oh, it's your problem. No problems if your internet is off. So you can join us in the next time. So everybody who's just watching us, if you have any, any you know, questions, you just text it or maybe you can join us. So it could, be, uh, it could be awesome to catch up with you. So we have been talking a lot of stuff. And we have been talking since maybe four, three to four months. And uh, we have quite, you know, a little bit bonding, uh, both of us. And so we usually talk sometime, not all the time. So... Mm -hmm. Right now we are on a live, so that may be good for us. So, Brent, do you have a question? Oh, Brian is my one of my friends. He is one of my friends. He say hi, guys. Okay, thank you, Brian. Thank you for your hearts, you know, Brian. You are so nice, amazing person. So, Brent, what what we were talking uh, when I when I said to go live? What we were talking before? Would you remember that? Yeah. Okay. What was that? Yeah, like what were we, we were just talking about, uh, yeah, you getting connected, right, to some of my uh, chemical engineering friends and, and, uh, and seeing how those technical conversations could, could go, yeah. Okay, and, uh, one of yeah. your friends, Christine Jenkin, want to come over here. Should I, should I accept his request? Oh, it's a, it's a Christine Jenkins is on there? Oh, that's great. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, Christine, she can, yeah, have her come on. <laughs> okay, that's cool. She, she just want to come over here. I accept her request. Hello. Hello. Hey, Christine. How are you doing? I sat down to eat breakfast, and I saw you guys were on. Yeah. <laughs> good to see you. Yeah, Tayab and I have, uh, yeah, we got connected, uh, you know, a few months ago through uh a friend, Wes, actually it was through Wes Tucker, is a group, an English-speaking group, um, and, uh, and then Tayab reached out and, and, uh, and wanted to, to kind of do more just a video chat conversation, and so then just today we were talking, and, and Tayab wanted to go live on Instagram and just kind of, you know, share our, our experience together with other viewers. So nice to have you cool. here for a little bit. I, I'm not going to be on very long. I've got about 10 more minutes, but uh, yeah, nice nice to see you and, and uh, enjoy breakfast with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's going to be an honor for me, Christian, to, to go live with you. Thank you for coming over here. I'm very happy if you want to connect with me every time you can. Text me, we can talk a little bit. It is up to you. Thank you. Because Brian, uh, uh, Brian, whenever he has a time, he can help me. So you can also take lead in that matter. Well, sweet. Sorry? <laughs> I said sweet. Oh, okay, means, thanks. Which means good. Yeah, absolutely. It's been good. So, so tie up. So, so here's an interesting little thing. It's nice to have Christine... Uh, on with us, we actually have a, a little bit of history that we share um, over several years, actually, oh. um, because when I moved from Southern California to Salina, Kansas, mm -hmm. that's when I first got to meet Christine and her husband, mm -hmm. and uh, and I worked with I worked with her kids who were in junior high and high school at the time. And then they, they grew up and, and uh, now I'm actually friends, uh, good friends with uh, one of her sons that was in my youth group in Kansas. Mm -hmm. He now lives in Fort Collins and, uh, and has a family and yeah, very successful photographer and, and all that kind of thing. And uh, so it's, it's kind of neat. Yeah. That uh, yeah, that we've known, we've known each other for gosh, since the nineties. <laughs> oh 40 now. Oh my god. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the years just <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a long time you just connect. Oh my god, you have been connecting with each other for many years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's cool. Maybe one day I will I will do the same thing. I said, Brian, do you know when we connect? We have been talking with each other almost 20 years, so it's maybe one day I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. And that would be amazing. Brian will be 70 then. Yes, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 75 in 20 years, so, <laughs> so let's hope. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> I'll be 87, so. Maybe if COVID is not over here, then most probably we will we will live longer than that. I'm very hopeful. Yeah, that's right. Just <laughs> fly, absolutely. So sometimes, but maybe sometimes we plan something different, but the things going on in a different direction. So maybe we are expecting, we are expecting something different, but the things are changing, and sometimes it's doing, it's going on a crazy stuff. Sometimes it's going on a positive way. So nobody knows what would be happening, but we should think on a positive direction. That should be our approach. Yeah. So, uh, so Christine, uh, Tayab is a chemical engineer, actually. Oh. And, uh, and he's desiring to uh, study uh, someplace like Canada or the U.S. or the U.K., uh, something like that, and so he's working on his English uh, to be able to get a scholarship to be able to study in, in one of those places. And, um, and, and so Christine knows two, at least uh, two chemical engineers that we have a mutual, we have a mutual friendship with, uh, with two chemical engineers. And, uh, and who are they? And, <laughs> and so, <laughs> so, so one of them is Max. Right, Max Shepard. Yes. And then the other one is Jed Smith. Okay. So, I but, yeah. can, but you can also say that you know three chemical engineers and one is Tayyab as well. Right. That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, yeah, so we, we do we do wish Tayyab the, the best of uh, the best of his work, you know. He's been very proactive living in Pakistan. Uh, trying to put himself in an atmosphere where he's talking with English speakers so that he can improve his English because he's very astutely realizes that just to learn English in Pakistan, it, you won't get very far compared to talking to, uh, you know, Americans or whoever actually is fluent in, in English and to have that kind of conversation. So... Um, and so he has a, a great desire to be able to come and to 
to study and to get his PhD uh, in in uh, in further advancement in his in his studies and in, in with chemical engineering. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You are one hundred percent right. Well, I think your English is very good. Yeah, you can say that my English is good, but you know, uh, I have to show that I'm I'm a little bit weaker than you know native. That's maybe my desire. Because when you show that your native is your English is perfect, then you got a good marks in English exam. So when you get a good marks, the probability of getting a scholarship is enhanced. So I'm working on that. I did a, a English test and I got seventy percent, but I need more than eighty five percent, and that make easier for me to get a scholarship. Otherwise, maybe I can get admission in the U.S but it's too much expensive, which I can't able to bear uh, uh, because I don't have any financial background. So that's why I'm just working on English. So enhance my English to show that I can, I can communicate with anyone and I use a complicated words. My grammar should be perfect. My fluency should be absolutely fine. Then I can, you know, I can get a better score in that exam and the things are quite, quite going in a, a line. Well, you know, Americans don't have perfect English. They probably wouldn't am. <laughs> Absolutely. You are 100% right, but I don't have any other option. What should I do? I have to show and pass this exam. Otherwise, I need money, but I don't have a money. So I should, I should do what I can do rather than I just try to criticize and curse to myself that I don't have a money. How should I go to U.S.? No, I should work on myself, try to communicate with you and other and just waiting for my right when should be when it could be ready i'm just landed in the us and try to say yes i got it <laughs> yeah. well good and maybe 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 part of the challenge is to uh, i mean to really come across as a native uh you know english speaker is to actually learn how to talk improper english <laughs> american style <laughs> <laughs> then you really, then you really come across as wow, yeah. <laughs> you must have been raised here. <laughs> You'll learn all that when you get here. Uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm. So sometimes, oh, people were laughing. Let me read the comments. Okay. So, uh, uh, what you have been doing, Christian? So, can you a little bit introduce yourself? It's a little bit vague to ask you, but can you introduce yourself? Are you asking me to? Yes, I'm asking you. Well, I am retired and I was a social worker for 25 years. And I first worked in um, child welfare, which was very hard. And then I went to healthcare. And my last job was with kidney dialysis. Kidney and, dialysis. Yeah. And it, I, I really liked it a lot. And then I have, um, I've been married for 48 years, and I have three grown sons and um, eight grandchildren, mm -hmm. and I have seven granddaughters, mm -hmm. one, one grandson who was miraculous, miraculously healed by the Lord. He had cancer, but he kept, oh. he kept getting deadly um, infections from the chemo because his immune system was so um, shot. That's, that's slang. It was so shot. Let's see, how would I say that, Brian? His immune system was very weak. Yeah, compromised. Would, would compromised be the right? Compromised. So um, we sent out prayer requests all over the world, basically, to different friends that we knew and People just kept praying, and it took him about two years. So that's that's a great um, a great story I like to share. About and he's doing well now, right? Yeah, and he's sixteen. He had it when he was twelve. Yeah, and he's sixteen. And so he's he he just re he recover he recovered from that, or maybe he's still suffering. He no, he recovered. Yeah, completely. Oh. Yeah, he's Henri. He's acting like a 16-year-old boy. He got a new truck, and then he backed it into something and uh, destroyed the bumper. Oh, destroyed the bumper. 
<laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Well, that's, yep. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's good to hear that, but you have a big family. You share all the stuff. That's really awesome. But at the end, you just share a bad news, but hopefully he will get soon. He will recover soon. Uh, he recovered, as you told me, that he recovered completely. So I'm very happy that he will enjoy his normal life. So, but you know, sometimes we have uh, extra sympathy with those people who have been facing such kind of problem. So I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful that, you know, some people are suffering from something. Some people are suffering from something. This is a part of life. Yes. Some people are some people are suffering to land in the U.S. Some people are suffering to <laughs> <laughs> to find a to find a job. Some of them are suffering to their financial budget, and some are just like health. But I think so. The the money maybe can can circulate, and you can get. But the health, there is no alternative. Uh, of your health. So you are the best gift that you can feel is your health. But it, let's suppose if my mind is not working right now, uh, maybe it's all the things are, are not, you know, it's not healthy for me. All the things are just like, you know, I, I'm feeling nothing. Because maybe if I have, I, if I don't have eyes, let's suppose for more than one second, if I don't have eyes, I can't able to see the different colors, even though my mom, how she looked like, so all those things. So we should try to be say thanks to our God and whatever we we uh, we are believing to give us a good healthy life. Uh, that maybe I think so the best thing. Apart from money problem, social things, or maybe our life and all those things are you know, this can be manageable. But health, sometimes mm -hmm. it's just taking the lead in that position, because without health. I've become, you know, boring, alone, something like that. So I really respect those people who have some problem in their life related to health. And I think so. If I have a time, I will definitely invest my time with them. And that would be the best investment. Yeah. Sorry, so, sorry I just a little bit distract what we have been talking. No, that was... That was so true, so true. Without your health, you have nothing. You don't because you can hardly function. And um, when he was sick, he had a stroke and he had to learn to walk again. And now he's running and he is um, playing lacrosse. So we just, mm. we just marvel. We're so mm. Yeah. One, one of my friends also suffering from leukemia. It's just like he has some cancer in uh, close to his, you know, what we call bladder. It's just like uh, close to the heart. He has some, you know, extra organ and which is growing uh, day by day. And doctor suggest him to do some chemotherapy. And after that, they decide to do some experiment on him to operate him. But I'm very hopeful that he will definitely recover. Let me say a welcome to my friend, Samir. Uh, welcome, brother. Uh, we are fine. We are happy to hear you. So, yes, go ahead. So, Christian, so how, how you enjoy these days? Maybe you are, uh, what you have been doing these days? You're just enjoying and relaxing? Me? Yes. No, no, I'm very, very busy. I never thought I would be so busy in retirement. Oh, my God. What you have been doing while you are so busy? <laughs> I would say mostly helping people. What yeah. kind of help that what kind of help that you are doing? Um just whatever they need if they you know let me know if they need some help I and I help a lot with my um son that lives here a different son and he has three girls and they need uh they need transported places and their parents are very busy. So we help with them a lot. I just got back. So, I think so. Right now, you are you are on the right position, right place. One yeah. one of uh, you know, <laughs> you know, one of one of the help help seeker is over here in terms of in 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 terms of me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 
maybe you can uh, you can also invest some time maybe 13 minutes or 15 minutes when you have so but just like this kind of conversation that's fine for me if you feel that it could be easier for you it does not matter audio or video what kind of conversation that you prefer but it's awesome i just need a practice person who can help me to learn this language and that's why the brian always helping me so you can also participate in this matter brian is a good good helper absolutely it's i am i just salute him he always ready to help me whenever i need yeah, i just send him a text message that i need your help and he arranged some meeting within within one week so uh, that could be amazing amazing we will talk so brian i think so you want to say something brian go ahead yeah i need to go <laughs> 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 oh my god i thought yes. that <laughs> i but thought thank I, you. it's always it's always a pleasure always a pleasure to connect and uh yeah christine great to see you what a surprise i know i've never done this before you know never gone on instagram live so this is a whole new experience for me and i don't know if you've done this before christine but uh tie up thank you for for uh inter- introducing me to a whole new world of, <laughs> of of connection it's so great <laughs> no problem it's re- it's really honor for me so thank you brian to help me so christine you want to stay over here or you also want to go um i'll go in a little bit okay no problem so brian if you want yeah if brian you yeah brian you can leave if do you know how okay. to how to leave yeah okay i think so All yes. right. We'll see you. Bye okay. guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks. Okay. So, maybe you understand the story, the story. Uh right now I'm working as a marketing manager in my country and I st- I started recently. I started recently that job. Before that I was working as a process engineer in another organization, but right now I'm working as a marketing ma- marketing head, you can say that, marketing executive or maybe marketing manager. whatever you call that so i started a job maybe two weeks before and right now i'm just, i'm just you know that's the new position it's require a lot of hard work so i constantly working during the day and sometimes my mind is almost to burst so i just a little bit relax and talk with with you and other people to to feel relaxed and practice my english because during the whole day i can't able to practice sometime we are busy we are talking we are doing work managing a strategy learning some new strategy marketing strategy which which is quite new for me so we usually you know uh we usually uh talk with other people so if you want if you feel comfortable you can also give me the chance well what time is it there uh right now let me think it's 10 it's 10 pm well i keep hearing a rooster crowing yes yes absolutely that was my roosters and i think so maybe when when someone move in front of their cage they start crying so maybe my 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 father may my father move on top of because those roosters are live on top of my roof so maybe my mother maybe my father just went over there that's where they start because they they just give a warm welcome when every anyone come close to their cage they start just crying <laughs> cuz i didn't know roosters crowed at 10 pm but i understand now <laughs> yeah they they always crying whenever you go up outside whenever i go it does not matter in the morning evening night they always cry because it's when we just when uh, when we move to the stair they hear the stair voice noise and they start they thought that maybe someone come to give the food and they start crying something like that because all the time when people go upside they listen and crying and pe- my mom usually give them a food so they thought that maybe if someone come to top on the roof they need they need some food and they just crying and giving a homely welcome yeah <laughs> that's funny yeah maybe well, one I, day sorry okay i see that my um granddaughter she joined us oh uh, your granddaughter let's see what what is her name her name is oh Zoe. she's yeah she just left 
she oh. just means to say leave yeah she left but before that she was over there and you did not tell me before i will join her i will request her, her to come over here but she just you know left oh uh, let's see who is over here with us oh uh, yeah english and me english and me is over here but not your uh, zoe so zoe is is, uh, is your I mean to say uh, is your granddaughter yes she's my oldest granddaughter oh old old, old. is somebody Sorry? Yes. Sorry. Let, let me close the door. My brother, my father is just talking with my uncle. Yeah. I just, right now, I shut the door. Sorry for that. So. So okay. Tell me a little bit more about your family. Yeah, we are five siblings, and three engineers. Three brother engineer. One daughter. One sister is a doctor, and one sister is just like. uh what we call mphil chemistry mphil she did chemistry uh, mphil in chemistry master in chemistry and we have three engineer two of them are chemical engineer and one is just like a computer engineer so all of them are working we all of them are working wow. but and we are just planning to get a marriage soon oh zoe is over here zoe zoe you want to come over here you can send a request uh so you can also come over here on this live because we were talking when you left so we both were talking about you she told me that she uh, she is your uh, young, uh so older sister or oldest granddaughter yes very good <laughs> yes sorry for that okay let me see how i can oh she again left she come and go come and go <laughs> musharraf welcome brother how are you i'm fine i'm pretty well and yeah so what else that you want to know I'm, well, i'm the i'm the no, older in sorry no go ahead i interrupted and no problem so i'm the older in brothers we are, we are two old two sister oldest then i am and two younger brother after me so this is this is the pattern of our family two sister then me and then my my younger two younger brother oh sashabas welcome shall sashabas so that's the pattern So how how old is everybody? Okay, I'm just 27. So you can see that one one year is different. I mean, it's a difference. Two sister, one year older, and after that one year older, then my brother, one one year younger my brother, then me, then my younger younger brother, and then my youngest brother. So we all have one one year difference, except the last one. The last one has two year difference. Wow, your mom was very very busy. <laughs> but right now she's just relaxing <laughs> because we are all because we are all working so she just enjoy the live watching television but when we grow up so she definitely busy maybe it's it's little bit it's too much difficult to imagine how she just bring us one is over here one is over here <laughs> well Five. Yeah, so it's, five is amazing. Yeah, so that is amazing. Sometimes we are praising and we are kidding to our mom. Five siblings. Oh my God, what do you think about that? So sometimes she just making uh you know a funny joke. She said, "Your father is just telling me that he want to make a football team, and that's why we are planning to make a football team, but we have not finished. Only five. We just finished." <laughs> some sometimes some sometimes we are just making you know lame type of jokes so that's you know sometimes funny to chit chat well they you, they have a basketball team <laughs> five member basketball <laughs> yeah i forget about to think like that yeah five um, yeah basketball yeah we can play basketball <laughs> but not a football or cricket because we are not 11 no so how old are your parents uh my parents my parents are almost for 55 to 60 years old something like between like that and yeah. both are still still alive and my, my the 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 voice that you hear that was my father and my mother just watching a television she is watching uh, 
Uh, I think so. And Sirium right now? So they're very Something. young. No, they are not young. They are almost 55 to 60. How you can say <laughs> that they're young? They are almost double, double to my age. Maybe more than that. <laughs> well, see, I can say that because I'm 67. So. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. you're 67. But I think so. They are close to you. But they can't speak English, so you can't able to talk to them. But you can talk, you can convey the idea to me, and I can pass on. And then my mother convey the idea, and I, I'm between both of you. Then you can talk. Otherwise, it's difficult. Well, um, how did you start speaking English? Sorry. How did you start speaking English? It's a long story, to be honest. Two years before, I was working as a process engineer, and I was just. I did a little bit, you know, problem. You look great. Oh my God. Yeah, definitely. Not, she looked 60. I'm not, six, yeah. Not yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You, you, you just, you you just made her 10 year more older. That's not fair. You should say that 57, you know, <laughs> girls always younger than their age. So you should say it 57, <laughs> not a 77. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead about your how you learned English. Yeah, you know, uh, two years before, even though I can't able to speak one sentence in English, that was the journey started. But two years before, I was working as a process engineer, and I was so confused. And when people are writing and listening and speaking, I thought that maybe they are alien. They are speaking any other language. But that's not, that's not you know, cup of tea for me. So, but on that area, the process engineer is too much hectic job. You have to monitor all the stuff. So one day I fight, you know, when you have a ridiculous kind of conversation with your boss and he forced me to do some wrong stuff, but I did not. They just write some essay about my behavior and put that essay toward manager and other, you know, you know management staff. And they decide to give me a one letter. One letter is mean just like that. They are just giving me a warning. When I receive a warning letter, at that time I realize this is not my place. Next day, I will write a resign letter. I will go over there and present them. And they accept my resign letter. That's maybe, I think, the best moment of my life. Because they accept. And after that, I was so much frustrated. And I sit down, I realize... Uh, I, I just apply, every day I apply many jobs, 10 jobs, 20 jobs, 50 jobs, whatever. I, I just, within one month after applying, I did not receive any interview call. I was so much frustrated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I thought that maybe what should I do? Why I should leave and blah, 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 such kind of stuff. But with the meanwhile, mean, meanwhile, I realized that uh, I, can, I can do something different. So I started learning English. Initially, it's too much hard. I'm crying during the night. I just read different books, listen, reading grammar book sometime and crying. The, the tear is just going on over there and there every day. But I keep going, keep going, requesting many people to help me. But no one ready to help me. This, is, this, this was the experience. Everybody say, you, give, you pay our money, we will help. But I don't have because I was... I was not working, so that may be difficult for me. But I keep requesting. So what else did I found at this area? And I found a couple of the teachers over there on Instagram, and I, I engage with them. Sometimes they just give a motivational lecture, how I should learn, and I listen. Sometimes I just start going, you know, I just start going and requesting in the lives. Whenever I find anyone who go live, I request them. Initially, I just speak one one sentence. And people just kick me out because I can't able to talk. That was the story. But I never forget about it. I keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And right now I'm over here within two years, almost more or less, less than two years. But you can say that almost one year and eight months or nine months. But right now I'm over here. That is amazing. What uh, person? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's it's, un it's you know, unbelievable sometimes, but I don't know how I can learn. That's all by my hard work and prayer and help helping you and other people. Because 
if you guys are not help me in in learning you are not able to communicate with me and you are not able to make a conversation so how i can reach this level so whenever i request initially no one ready to because my english is just like a you know robust english just like a rubbish english everybody just say oh, what 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 are you saying oh, can can you repeat again i said my name is tayyab something like that i speak slowly one one word so everybody just watching me and say oh how i can talk to you this peep this person and they just you know avoid me <laughs> even the when they avoid me my tears are going you know going down speedily because i thought that why i can't learn so but every day i just make a plan within one day within two month i will be in the us within five month i will be in the us with the next one i will be in the us so the, little by little i just make a plan every day new plan every month new plan and i just keep going keep going and right now over here be careful with i can't able to you should say either cannot or i'm not able to okay a search mean cannot able is not a correct way yeah english and me she is also my friend she is one of you know one of the friend who helped me on on my initial on my initial level so wow. that's why she's yeah well you've come so far i can understand you completely oh yeah thanks thanks it's it's a good it's a good compliment or bad it's a good compliment <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding so question so. me how much time has she spent with you <clears throat> who english spend with who the instagram english and me yeah we we i think so we were go live only one or two time one or two hour long live maybe two or two or three times something like that but she's also teaching english so oh. she just focus she's focusing on those students who are ready to pay her not mm-hmm. only just like just like a free cost learner like me yeah <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, so that, I'm just so impressed. You've come so far. Oh my god, I'm blushing. <laughs> We Yeah. Oh, she, somebody has told you that it's very hard to learn. Uh sorry, can you repeat again? Sometime you break in one second. Let me un- Yep. Go. Uh, I suppose somebody along the way has told you how English how hard English is to learn. Okay this is also a new story. You know when I started learning English one the initial phases one uh, one or two month I totally you know I totally receive a negative vibes from my friends from my parents not parents just like that sometimes they laugh but not all the time sometimes they motivate me but friends all were criticize me they say oh you you speak english oh you are not living in the us how you should speak english like that they make a hilarious kind of comment about me and they are uh, there are some other people just like some teacher said you are big no level it take almost 10 year to reach what you want so do every day rather than just asking any uh, uh, any you know any feedback and blah blah and they are just making a laugh and blah they are just giving me a negative these these are the people who are close to me because they never able to speak english like this native speaker speaking and they are always saying me the same so that i can't able to reach what i need i thought that maybe that was that was the reason why they are discouraging me but again again so what i did i totally disconnected all those people even though i just forget about my friend i told them that i i'm working on something i'm working on something good i'm working on some courses which require almost one year i need more hard work something like that i just make a lame excuses and try to maintain a distance with them even though i have not talking with them so much often because they are always criticizing me so i just make a big difference and in meanwhile i lost my good friends four or five good friends i lost in that because they always criticize me and they are not allow me uh to to reach in the, uh, to reach in the sky they never encourage me to fly in the air they just always push me to go down down no 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 don't try that you will never do that just enjoy work and you know over here not think about anything else where you want 
something like that so i just totally disconnect and um, disconnect is really hard to live alone so when i was disconnect so i thought that because i'm a social butterfly i can't able to do that i always talking hanging up with my friend so i just find alternate what should be the other alternate that uh, i should keep my social network strong so i keep th- thinking thinking and one day it's come come it's hit to my mind why should not make a friend online all around the world maybe dad friend never discourage me and they are also helping me to make a good call, big conversation and that thing stuck to my mind and i found many beautiful friends and i just go live more than 50 times all those more than 50 50 igts live session are are placed on my instagram channel so that that is the story so i found many people around the world and i usually talk with them maybe maybe one, tw- once or twice in a week uh that that's the journey and i think so that is amazing because when we talk i improve my english and as well as uh we can exchange some culture some other thing we learn how people are living from another country what is the good thing what is the bad thing so that that's you know the different things that i learn by living far away from them wow I, that's amazing that you just said we'll forget you because they were trying to stop you from reaching your goal absolutely yeah yeah you know sometimes when i i feel that when some people don't reach what they want so they thought that maybe they must criticize to other so that he can't able to go uh you know upper level than us and that's why they are discouraging us maybe that maybe it's they totally a negative thought what i'm believing but uh, that that is my assumption which is not a good assumption do you think that they were jealous that you were doing this and maybe you can maybe maybe you can say that but i'm not thinking what they are thinking about me uh, they think because they, they that's their mind what yeah. i think I, and i am feeling that i would able to reach what i am thinking so i'm just i'm just focusing what i think and what i should do and i'm keep doing keep doing try to be make possible each and everything to reach what i need that's it that is great you sound very secure like a very secure person oh thanks thanks and even though sometimes i usually motivate other as well when i found someone i try to help them because i have been suffering from that period 2 years is too much hard to imagine but i try to be encourage other who are in the same process like me but i said one thing to them never make a false goal what i did because when i make a false goal false goals i i, I, I suffer a lot my my mind is just keep on me oh tayya you spent 6 month but you can't go because every month i made a goal that i will be in the us i will reach this level english this level english this 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 so but when i could not when i could not so i feel pressure my mind is just you know under pressure that's happening so whenever i found someone i said okay give a time to yourself and do your best you know when i started learning english i learned almost 12 hour 10 hour 15 hours something like that my eyes is just like over here is a big circles right now it's still a little bit but when i was studying is just like a big circle my eyes just boom and my my hairs maybe you can see one or two hairs just like a white hair because <laughs> yeah that's the pressure all the day i'm sitting and just doing blah 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 and just reading and listening and that, that's it so that's you know and you know nothing is possible without your without your hard work that that i love you yeah. can do everything if you spend time you must be dedicated you must be determined you just keep focus then no one can stop you if you are dedicated so i'm keep doing so within two month two weeks before i got a job at once again after a long break so right now i'm feeling a little bit secure on my financial time because i should not need a money from my fathers and mother right now i can earn money by myself so that's also a positive positive thing 
Wow. Just keep, just keep up that positive attitude. That is so great. Well, yeah. I think so because I have things to do, but it was so great to meet you. And is it yep. Tayyab? Tayyab. Tayyab Ahmad. Tayyab Ahmad. Tayyab. Tayyab. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All I'll, right. I will try. Yeah, I will try to send you a request. Uh, maybe we will catch up if you don't mind. Uh, we can also, I can also add you in the OSS Colorado group. We were five members over there. Four of them are from U.S. And I, I'm the only one from Pakistan. And all of four members sometime, sometime maybe help me. But Brian are always giving my time. But four other members are always busy. They commit, but they, but, they, but they did not give me a time. Maybe they are too much busy. But if you feel comfortable, I send you a text message. You can send your WhatsApp number. I will add you in that group. And uh, whenever you have a time, we can talk. Okay, great. Well, you just yeah. keep up the good work and uh, just know that your English is excellent. It's very good. And I oh, hope you one second. Someone else sent me a request. Oh, Aiden Jen Kissen. Who is she? Let me accept her request. Granddaughter. <laughs> oh my God. She sent a request. She's 13. <laughs> oh, no problem. Eden. Hi, Tina. Who are you with? Sienna, I'm at lunch. And who are, who's with you? Sienna and Raleigh. Hi, Sienna. Hi. So I saw this from a... No, no. <laughs> I saw this from another friend, and he introduced me to this guy, and he's trying to learn English, and he's from Pakistan. Yeah, they left. They left. Oh, they left. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, good to see, good to meet you. Okay, thank you. I wish thank I wish you well. No problem. You. Thank you. Oh, thank you for yeah. Thank you for coming over here. It's nice to see you once again. Uh, not once again, first time. So we will catch up soon. Uh, thank you for coming over here. Okay. So nice to see. So nice to see you. You are so humble, polite, elegant, generous lady, and uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it's honor for me to talk to you. Well, let's see. Okay. Yeah, see you next. See you next time. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay, let's see who's next. Who wanna come over here? And uh, Dubai just sent a request, and I accept her his request. Hi, uh, bro. What's, What's going, going on? on? What? What happened? What are you eating? Huh? What are you eating, brother? Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. Oh, that's cool one. Yeah. So where are you right now? I'm from Pakistan. My name is Tayyab. I'm a chemical engineer. I'm from France. Oh, France. You are from France. Okay. Yeah. So what are you doing over there? You are a student. Are you a student? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, my God. I don't know what happened to him. He just came and he just left. If anyone wants to join me, you can send a request. We can talk. No problem. We can do a little bit of conversation. Oh, everybody, nice to see all of you guys. So let's do that conversation. Oh. Okay, I just accept her request. Uh, let's see who's the next person yeah. watching watching live. Hello there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? What are you eating? Are you in a hotel right now? Oh my God! What? You are a camera shy person. What happened? Why you are not facing a camera? Sorry? Chipotle? Oh my god. No, Chipotle? Do you guys have oh, that? okay. It's like burrito okay. bowls yeah. and burritos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let me add someone else. Oh hello. Oh I'm from I'm from Pakistan. I'm from 
Luke Rose is red. Where do you live? Where do you live? I told you that <laughs> I'm from pa Pakistan. Pakistan. Pakistan? Yeah. Pakistan. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Bon appetite. Okay. What? Sorry, I said I I'm from Pak. <laughs> oh, why? Why you can't hear me? I don't know because it's loud. Oh my God! Uh, uh, but I think. Okay, can you hear me right now? No. <laughs> nope. Oh my God. Okay, no problem. Let's see if these guys are just playing with me. Anyhow, no problem. It doesn't matter. Uh -huh. So if they are not serious, absolutely, they are not serious. They are just making a fun. They are kid. But I don't care about that, what they want to do, what they are doing. I'm just enjoying my life. If they want to come, that's cool. But they don't, no problem. So if anyone wants to come to join me, you can send a request. And I will, I will bring you over there. So let's see who is the next in the queue. Okay, if you want to come, you want to talk, if you want to share something, you can send a request and bring, come over here to see what we can do that. So unable to join. I'm not sure what was happening. He just sent a request and right now. He just left. Okay, we, I have been talking with so many people like Brian, Christine, and other and all those people are just making a good conversation, but right now we are some youngster. They just make a laugh, but no worry about that. So anyone come? Anyone in a queue who wanna send a request? Anyone in the queue who wanna join me? Let's do that a conversation a little bit. That 20 Sam joined. That's a cool one. Everybody is just watching. Tayyab. I'm Tayyab. I'm not sure why you just guys are so silent, not talking with me. Just make a, just make a healthy conversation while sending a request, talking with us, and do that live session and more hilarious. Oh, guys. Why well, you just keep watching? Just send a request, make a laugh, make a conversation. Follows you and show no 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 no. So Scotting North LinkedIn send a request. It's late here. I would join with interest, but I can't. Oh my god, sorry for that. Um history. No problem. I can understand it's late on your side. That's why you are not sending. But you know, if you you guys are not talking, so it's a little bit boring to make a live alone. So but you can send a request if you feel comfortable. I'm not talking about um history, but anyone else can do that if he or she feel comfortable. But I can understand that sometimes, you know, we have a different time soon. Some of them can talk, some of them are not. But but those who can talk, why they are just keep silent? Let's do a little bit talk. Okay, so you guys tell me what is your favorite ice cream? Because I'm feeling, you know, I'm a sh sugar I'm I'm a sugar person, so I would like to uh, uh eat some ice cream, some dessert. So can you recommend me any good ice cream? What is what is your favorite flavor? So you just share with me, and let's make uh, possible to eat those ice cream. I think so. If you just suggest me a good ice cream, I will try that, and let's see if it's available in my country or not. So just share your best flavor. What is what is your best flavor? And in this group, I'm not sugar person. Oh my gosh. That's why maybe you are, you, you must be lean person. Lean to say, those person who don't like a sugar, they are just like, maybe they are too much overweight or sometimes they are just underweight because they are not eating sugar. But I'm, you, I'm not overweight, but I'm not too much lean. So that's normal. Just, I'm just normal. Stella Lindsay, welcome. If you want to send, a, if you want to join me, you can send a request. Everyone can join me. If you want to join this live, you can send a request. 
so we we are just making or talking about ice cream stuff so what is your favorite ice cream oh my god uh someone sent a request and and abruptly he declined who was that yeah. no i eat sugar but i'm non sugar person <laughs> oh my god you eat sugar but you are not sugar person okay you don't like too much sugar okay cool so oh gina welcome gina nice to see you gina ada adams i love chocolate ice cream oh that's i think so everybody everybody like chocolate ice cream and i think so many people like to eat chocolate and sometimes it's good good to you know eat chocolate it's really help to stretch your hormones and you feel awesome while eating so sometimes it's good to eat ice cream and chocolate and other stuff but not all the time you know when you are eating all the time you become addicted and when you are addicted no, nothing could be help you you feel a little bit dizzy whenever you are not eating ice cream so eat everything in appropriate amount not too much so i think so it's a right time to wind up this conversation maybe we will catch up again so those who did not follow me you should follow me and if you want to say something you can share with me you can recommend and uh, you can share your point of view that could be good and awesome to talk to you and uh, i means brown ice cream yeah i i got it brown ice cream i love i love brown ice cream just like a brownie ice cream there are many flavors of brown ice cream in my country and they are different products and we usually order them so thank you for coming over here maybe we will catch up later on thanks for your time and happy to see you once again so see you later bye bye boys take care yourself